All right, so there has been a lot of negative talk about the fact that the global side does not have leader abilities for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Omega Shenron. Now, I understand, not having the leader ability, the 150 leads kind of sucks, but we have to take into consideration that we're still, we haven't even gotten the 120 leaders. And now, yes, I did say, and I did like, I would like to have had the 120s released alongside the 150s because it's harder to build a 150 team, but you know, the 120 and the 150 leaders kind of go hand in hand. I would have loved for that to happen, but we didn't get that. Now, everyone's so uh, very upset about this, and some of you aren't. I know that not all of you are. Um, some of you are kind of upset about it, which I could understand just being a little bit of like, oh, that's stupid. It's stupid for you not to release the leader ability. Um, I know that I did watch a couple videos today and a couple of the ideas, which I completely agreed with, was to, you know, at least release the first part of their leader ability or the second part of leader ability, where it's just like the individual monotypes uh, plus 50%. So like, for instance, the Omega Shenron will be physical type 50%. Um, I think that would have been, you know, at least something for those who don't have a 70% leader or a 90% leader at this current time. And at, at this time, there's no physical 90% leader. So... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go over a small team building guide in terms of what I think can work out uh, to your benefit I'm not saying these are optimal, but these are definitely some decent teams For for what we have available on global for what you can make uh, at most like the hardest hitting team I, I did one rainbow team and one mono team per card that we currently have now Let's just talk about it real quick um, the peerless gleam super saiyan 4 gogeta now This is his doken form if you want to know about the full video when I went over his undoken form and his doken form on top of the other cards in the full banner Including the Omega uh, that's gonna be at the end of this video. So, so just click to the end of that or um, I guess check uh, Check out the video it only released a couple days ago I'll, I should leave a link in the description if you're looking for it and it's not there. Let me know but anyway, um, let's just talk about him real quick. Super attack, 100 time Big Bang Kamehameha. He greatly raises his attack and defense for one turn. So right off the bat, he has that Super Gotenks thing going on. He raises his, he's greatly raises his attack. So he's just completely shooting it up. Now look at his passive skill. Attack was 120% up. And he has an immense damage modifier. Guys, I mean, yes, he he's not like a, the, most, the most amazing unit. But okay, he has a defense of 5,075, which means he has a really good defensive unit. He's really good defensive unit. He's going to be blocking decently. His attack is just freaking nuts. Max potential system, um, or I'm sorry, ma max number is 12,000 attack, which is freaking insane. Then max base is 14,000, and, and total max 17,000. I mean, guys, yes, he, he's freaking crazy. You know, like, I, I don't, I, I, this, this is my opinion on the matter. I think he's a really good unit overall. Um, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm not pulling on him, I'm not pulling on him. I mean, there, there's good cards on this banner, guys. Don't, don't feel deterred and, like, that you're not going to, that don't, that you don't want to pull on him just because everyone's saying, oh, it's garbage, this and that. If you don't have the cards in the banner, go for the banner and you have the least amount of cards. And at least that's what I did on JP. And you probably haven't seen it. You're not going to, yeah, you haven't seen it yet. I did pretty damn well on the JP side because I went, I did it that. Um, but on the global side itself, I mean, it's definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and just talk about it. I'm just going to jump right into the team. So this is going to be the heroes team that I'm saying that you're going to run. Now, I don't have a double trunks that you could throw on here. Other than thank you to, uh, uh, dokumbattlebuilder.com. I believe this is branched off of, um, uh, dbz.space. So thank you. Shout out, you know, thank you for creating this and allowing us to use this. Uh, now my ideal team that I could recommend would probably will definitely be the Super Saiyan Force on a double trunks led team. Super Saiyan 4s are going to give themselves really good key buffs because remember, the, the Trunks here, he only gives you key plus 1 and then HP attack and defense plus 70%. The Super Saiyan 4s are giving themselves a 6 key just for linking together. Shocking Speed, GT, Prepared for Battle. So you get a 70% attack buff across the board. These two link really well together. Now you have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who links really well with the, Super, uh, the Vegito Blue. So it's actually kind of fun of the two fusers. Uh, come on. Click this over here, hover. All right, so these two fuse uh, link very well together. They have Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Over and Flash, Fierce Battle, and Fuse Fighter. So that's five key right there, a 15% boost, a 10% boost, and a 2,500 boost. Now you can run whoever else you want. I just threw some support units over here. Now I know it kind of sucks as I, I threw Vegito as a floater, the Super Vegito as a floater, but he does he lacks some link skills when it comes to the uh, Gogeta. I think he actually has everything except, so let's see, he has uh, two links, two key links, so four key links right there. And this guy has, a, oh yeah, over in a flash, so he gets an additional one key. So he was a little bit more viable to stay linked with him. But I think that would be a pretty damn good setup. I mean, I guess you could keep the Super Vegito and Vegito Blue together and just have him as a floater. But I think this would be a better setup overall. And then you have the Kaioken Blue Goku, just because he has a really good key buff. You could also, I guess, use the physical one. I just threw him in there for an additional agility unit. 
Even though you technically have three, I guess you could throw another physical in there so that you have a physical rotating. But I, I like him better over the physical unit. I think we all talked about that. He's uh, The Kaioken Blue agility is definitely better than this, the, the Super Kaioken. Um, and then obviously you have the two trunks on floaters. So you could do one of these two. Um, I would probably... See, that, that's a tough decision because he counters and he... And he um, he counterattacks and he's a tank, uh, the Super Vegito, but the Kaioken Blue Goku is really good for key. So you're running on that trunk, so you might want to have the key, but these guys linking together are good enough for key. You really don't optimally need it. But this is just an ideal hero team, and I think that this would be freaking nuts. You have four, I mean, three Super Saiyan 4s, and you have two gods, <laughs> and uh, Vitara Fusion. I mean, that's the most nuts heroes team you could probably run on Global at this time, and these shouldn't, this shouldn't be underrated at all. Now, obviously, I haven't tried this on my Global side. I don't have the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta at this time, but I also didn't want to pull on it because I really want to get the Omega because I was trying to go for a Korra team. Korra is the only villain um, banner that I want to really go for. Everyone else is going to be essentially heroes uh, when, the, when they come out on the Global side. But I will want him at some point. But I mean, overall, this is what I would recommend using. Try him out. See how this team runs. If you do have this team, all these cards, let me know in the comments below how they run together. I actually really want to know because this seems like it would be a very viable team. A double trunks led team with any of these units or almost at least the Super Saiyan 4s and uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Vegito Blue. Uh, I don't care who you run on, on support. I mean, I did go over here and um, link some other support units in case you're missing some. Um, these are really good really good units for support. Uh, key uh, Bullpan is key plus 3 for all allies when HP is 30% or above. That's pretty damn good. That's just the key support. So if you guys are lacking key links, you know, if you don't have all of these units, then bullpen would be pretty good. You have the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, who is key plus 3 for all allies when HP is 99% or below. It's a long-awaited serious duel. Now, this is the Super Saiyan 2's Dokken Waken. Now, all these are actually the Dokken Waken variants. And then the last one is the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, the physical one, which is key plus 2 and attack plus 20% for all allies. Now, uh, preferably, you would want to run this because he gives the attack buff to everyone who's on the team so i think that would be a little bit more optimal for you just because he's giving more uh, attack buffs to everyone and key plus two um that's not key plus three but overall for who you're running over here i think that would be damn good i mean think of it super saiyan 4 gogeta and vegeto blue between his counters and his super attack and this guy's super attack with his immense modifier his greatly raising attack and it was 120 percent attack buff plus the 20 percent dude yo it's gonna be nuts uh, the next one we're just going to talk about real quick is the mono team. Now, again, the mono team kind of sucks because right now we only have the 70% leader on here. Um, overall, you're going to want to run the Super Bowl. I, now, I'm not telling you this is going to be the optimal team in terms of damage output. I'm just basing it off of Link's, um, Link's skills and who you, ha you have available. Now, essentially, uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta can be subbed out for another unit. I put him in there just because he's Super Saiyan 3 and he will link decently with the Super Gotenks or Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Um, obviously, you're going to have your Super Vegito base form, Merge Masu, and the Bardock, and you're also have another Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks running, and then I were essentially... All I really did was replace the LR Goku with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Because, I mean, you have a sealer here. Um, Merge Masu kind of debuffs, but he makes up for it with his attack. But you just throw him off on rotation, and he should be fine. And then Super Vegito is on rotation for an attack buff. I think that's a really good team, a good optimal mono team. You only have one villain, but outside of that one villain, everyone else is very, very good. They work very well together. And, I mean, between these two, see, the one thing that does suck about it, you'll never get the 11 key with the Super Gotenks when you run them next to the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, so... So you're going to be getting that 12 key at every single point in the game, which is all right, I guess. I mean, it, it's not an optimal for damage output, but whatever. Um, if you really want, if it really upsets you that much, you could always go ahead, take him um, out, put him on rotation, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta off rotation. You can get take out Merge Zamasu, throw in LR Goku, so that LA, LR Goku and Bardock link together, and then you have them all on rotation, everyone else on rotation. Um, that would, that, that's something that you could possibly do. Let's go over here and just do that. Um, that, that way you optimize. It's going to be essentially a full heroes team at that point, um, which isn't a big deal, you know, for what you're running. You're going to have some def decent damage output. Uh, the only thing that stinks about these guys is there's not a lot of healing going on. Um, there's not a lot of tanking going on. So, uh, take it for what you will. There we go. And then you'll have the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks on rotation. But that's just on, on in terms of... Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta team, guys. I mean, like I said, you could even throw any of these, even though it would, probably really wouldn't be optimal. 
So overall, guys, I think this is a really practical team. They all link very well together. There's a lot of damage output that can go here. Uh, unfortunately, they do lack a tank. I mean, I guess you could throw the intelligent, the uh, technique freeze in there as a tank. It doesn't really link too well with anyone at that point, though. But, I mean, take it for what you will. This is what I think is going to be a really good team to hold you through until the 120 leads come out. And, I mean, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, assuming we follow JP, is right around the corner. Um, I, it's, it's not to be underrated, right, guys? Yes, it sucks that we don't have the leader skills, but we do have the card available, do have the ability to create a good team with him, and he is going to be a staple in teams moving forward. I mean, you look at the team that I currently have here. So, like, this is very old meta. He is very, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is very old meta. Now, he may not be optimal, but I would consider running him. Um, and, I mean, even the Bardock and the LR Goku are very old metas. Uh, they're still very relevant on their mono respective team. Anyway, guys, um, one other thing I did want to state, you do have three support units for a tech for the tech team. You have the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Doken Awaken version of him. Um, the Undoken version of him was Key Plus 2. And the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, well, actually, I believe this is from... Oh, this is from, yeah, this is from the World Tournament. The World Tournament Gohan. Those three are good key buffs also, in case you need them, and if you don't have an optimal team with links. But anyway... Uh, that's it guys. I'm, I'm gonna go over the Omega Shenron actually in another video, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be dropping that. This is gonna be the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta only video. But anyway guys, that's it. Um, this is just, I'm gonna end it here on the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta just because we hit over the 10 minute mark. Um, I'm going to do the, the, the Omega Shenron video. Uh, that's gonna be released uh, either, probably tomorrow. I'm going to release this tomorrow for you with the suit with the Omega Shenron. And I'm going to go over everything with him and his his villains team and his mono team as well. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I just want to drill this in one more time. These are both good units. They are not bad units by any means. Just because they don't have their leader abilities, don't go and be like, oh, I'm not going to go pull on the banner because they don't have leader abilities. Unless you, you're specifically going for something or free to play, then I can understand. Uh, it's not like on the JP side where there's a whole bunch of 120 leaders in it. I mean, we do have 70% leaders available on the current banners, but if you don't have them, I, I honestly am going to recommend, I would definitely recommend for you to go and pull on them. I mean, especially the Omega, because the Omega will incorporate the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which is going to be, it has to be, available on a future banner. And the Omega is going to be good on a Korra team, on a Villains team, and his banner currently incorporates Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is the 120 leader. But thank you for coming by, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.